armies defeated, Lord Davimore was desperate to save his kingdom from the onslaught of Lord Beregrin's marauders. It began as a war over who would rule the Circle of Mages. Davenmore's powerful ally, Goldwyn of the Meadows, or the arch-wizard Volgar, sage of Beregrin's kingdom. Volgar was after the relics of power, ancient artifacts safeguarded by Goldwyn. For according to legend, whoever unlocked their secret would acquire the magic to rule heaven and hell. In a nefarious coup, Volgar convinced a few within the circle of mages to betray Goldwyn, and the unsuspecting wizard was lured into a trap, spelling his doom. With Goldwyn vanquished, Lord Davamore's troops were soon overrun, and he had no choice but to concede victory to Lord Beregrim and Volgar. But Beregrim's taste for blood was not easily quenched, and he demanded a special prize that would proclaim his dominion to all. The hand of Davenmore's daughter, Elowen, in marriage. For this alone would Beregrim call off his legions of terror. But unbeknownst to either lord, Elowen had already sworn her love to Valdane, captain of Davenmore's royal guard and son to Lord Greymare of the Northlands. Upon hearing his daughter's refusal to marry Beregrim and the confession of her true love for Valdane, Lord Davenmore flew into a rage. He ordered his guards to arrest Valdane and carry him off to a dungeon far away. Elowen's wrath fell full upon her father, and she swore that if Valdane could not have her, no one would. She fled from the room in tears, and the next morning she was gone. Now Davenmore lies deep in a trap of his own making, for upon learning of Elowen's disappearance, Beregrim has accused Lord Davenmore of treachery in a ruse to conceal his daughter, and has once again ordered his army of death to the kingdom's door. Hordes of night warriors, shadow fiends, and other monstrous terrors now march across the lands, bringing death and destruction to all they encounter. Only by finding his daughter and convincing her to honor his pledge can Davenmore hope to save his kingdom from the nightmare of Beregrim's army of abominations. For should Volgar and his dark conspirators acquire the relics of power, they will truly become unstoppable. But all is not yet lost. It has been foretold that a young hero will arise to challenge the forthcoming evil. The relics of power lie concealed in ancient dungeons and castle ruins of kingdoms past within the Forbidden Lands, waiting for the champion who can win them from their guardians. Deep within the wilderness, there are those among the elves, dwarves, and demigods who might be persuaded to stand and fight. Within the circle of mages, there remain a few who despise Volgar, those who might come to the aid of one brave and strong enough to challenge him. And somewhere out there is the lost daughter of a crumbling lord, now stalked by unseen treachery. If only she can be found. If only she can survive long enough. Thus begins Dungeon Lords, the kingdom cracked. A tale of love, hate, betrayal, revenge, honor, and evil. Traveler, I have something for you.
traveler. I have something for you. I mean you no harm. Traveler, I have something for you. I carry a letter from the, the temple of this road. It is. Uh, I was told that the one to whom the letter was intended would find me. This road. It is said that the seers of the celestial order can read the stars and foretell the future. The temple of this. I was told that the one to whom the letter was. Fare thee well! Traveler? I mean you no harm! Halt! The town of Fargrove is closed by order of Lord Davenport. Ah. <laughs> 